Right now I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the Birdland Major and how to get the Diamond Coin. So the first thing you want to do is obviously before September 30th you want to go to your main menu, click down here so you can buy the Viewer Pass. You either want to buy the Viewer Pass for your, that has no tokens or you can buy the one that adds three tokens. All the tokens do is give you a souvenir package you can redeem at the Major. I wouldn't buy any of these stickers or any of the capsules because they're all going to go on sale. At, towards the end of the major I would buy this now because some of the stuff you have to activate before the tournament starts And I'll show you that in a minute So if we get, once you buy the coin it'll show up here as a bronze coin mine's only silver because I've finished some of the stuff So if you redeem it with the three extra tokens, it'll bring here how you redeem the packages is once the match start You just come here and then next to all the matches It will say redeem package for this match and then you just redeem it for that match but the, none of the matches I'll start yet. If you buy the three extra tokens, they will show up here. Or if you don't buy the package with three extra tokens, you can buy individual tokens. You can buy up to 20 at a time. So you really don't have to worry about not getting any packages at this major. And then you get one token for finishing the first eight and you get one for the next four and another one for the next four. So you can get a total of six if you buy the plus three pass. And then if you finish them all, but you can really get up to like 50 if you just hit get more tokens and buy more. You also get to select any of the team graffitis or the sticker for the major itself. So I went ahead and chose a Astralis and you get to get and you get to choose a uh, watch TV flare right down here. But other than that, um, you just have to win 10 rounds on all the active duty maps to be able to get the first upgrade I already have it and you have to activate it the coin before the tournament is over so I already have that but I'm gonna go ahead and go to pickums because all of these ones we can't do until the tournament is a little bit further so eight or nine more days so we're gonna go ahead and reload that and a lot of people I've been seeing that don't know how to play the game or don't watch the majors I see them just putting random stuff here you really don't want to do that because you don't want to throw away that diamond coin so the first thing I'm going to do, and Vanguard, I think they can beat some of the teams here. I don't think they're actually going to 3-0. I think they're going to 3-2 or maybe not even advance at all. But I'm putting them here because I don't want to risk losing one of my easy five advancing off putting them here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do 0-3. to And we're, we're going to go ahead and you want to put one of these three low tier teams. Some people are putting Hellraisers or Complexity. But I'm going to go ahead and put this guy right here as 0-3. And now for seven teams that will advance, obviously Vitality is advancing, no question about it. They are 100% passing. There is no way that any of these teams are even going to beat them. I would put them as 3-0, but I don't want to risk them getting upset. I don't want to risk that easy pass. Same thing with NRG, second best team in North America, no doubt about that. I'm going to go ahead and put Furia. They are looking very strong, top 10 team overall. G2, you got Kenny S, Amanak, you got some good support players. I think they will as well advance and beat many of these teams. Crazy has been really showing up in the minors and in the qualifiers, so I really think they're going to show up here at the major and beat some of these teams. I'm going to go ahead and pop North as passing as well. They are a pretty strong team. They've been showing some pretty good results. Nothing crazy, but I think they could beat a lot of the teams up here. And for my final slot, I am going to go ahead and pop Mouse Sports, a top 10 team overall. And I really think they're going to show up this major and be dominant. So, or I don't think they're going to be that dominant, but I think they're going to be dominant over these teams. So these are my pickums. If you don't watch Counter-Strike and if you don't watch the majors, I would really suggest that you follow this. This is basically guaranteed five right here. These four are guaranteed. And one of these three basically is guaranteed to pass. So you have five easy right there. This is the most unrisky way you can go. If you want to risk it, if you want to get more than five, there's no reason you don't get any benefit for getting more than five. But if you want to, you can put Vitality up here. And then down here, you can just add Invengar or whatever other team you think is going to pass. So if you don't know what to pick or if you're new to the game, these are the picks I would follow.